back to my channel. So today I have this really fun Purple Rain inspired eyeshadow. As I'm sure a bunch of you heard the absolutely terrible news. Prince, we did lose him. It's really, really sad. Um, I know I was really sad to hear the news. Um, my mother, crazy, crazy Prince fan. It was because of her that I heard of Prince, which I'm sure a lot of you my age probably heard of Prince from your family or from your parents. But anyways, nonetheless, I wanted to create this really fun Purple Rain inspired eyeshadow because I absolutely adored him. He had really amazing music. So I thought, why not? Let's do this Purple Rain let's go crazy purple inspired makeup look so i really hope you guys enjoy this video if you do be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to future videos or subscribe to my channel so that way you don't miss out on future videos um for those of you who don't know me and new to my channel my name is Brittany. hello how are you nice to meet you but again please be free please be free it is free please be sure to subscribe i will see you guys in just a minute already um, cleansed, moisturized my face, all that good stuff, and I've already primed my lids. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my hair back. I was trying to go for that like 80s perm when I did my hair today. Anybody kind of see it? No? I don't know. I thought I did. But yeah, that's what I was kind of going for with the hair. I was thinking about doing the whole curly Sue style. You know how Prince had in Purple Rain where he had those really nice luscious curls. I was thinking about doing that, but... It would just take too much time. So I thought I would go for the 80s perm, if that makes sense. I'm going to be using the Morphe 35P palette. I'm just gonna be using basically these shades over here. These really purple pretty shades I'm really excited about. Again, it's the Morphe 35P palette. Um, I will probably use one or two shades over here just for like my crease, I don't know. But we're gonna have fun with this. We're gonna jump right in, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun, okay? The first shade I'm gonna go ahead and start off with in this Morphe palette this camel color right here at the bottom and I am just using a big fluffy brush to do so. Mm. I shouldn't have zoomed in like that. I'm just going to go ahead and take that camel shade. I'm going to go ahead and blend that in my crease. Kind of bring it above my crease. And really just take your time. I'm just really no rush, no care in the world. Just taking my time blending that out. Ooh, I forgot to put chapstick on. I'm gonna have Angelina Jolie crappy lips. Once I've got that camel shade right where I wanted, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend that baby out some more. Again, when you think you blended enough, you probably have it, so just go back and blend again. When in doubt, just blend. I feel like I've heard that from someone, which I probably have. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this shade right here. This really pretty purple shade. It's kind of got like this silver undertone. I don't know, I'm really bad with undertones, so don't quote me on that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and take this purple shade right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead, blend this, really concentrate that in the crease. Definitely not gonna bring it as high as I brought the camel shade. Excuse me. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take this shade at the bottom. Oh, these sh shades look so pretty in the viewfinder. Um, and really, it, this palette, even in the... Oh, shit. These shades, they are as gorgeous as they look on camera. I'm not even kidding. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this shade right here at the bottom, and I'm just going to go ahead and focus this mainly in my outer corner. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I've got that in my outer corner I'm just taking a clean blending brush and lightly blending that together so far I'm liking it I'm loving all this purple but I'm just gonna make it a little more purple if you want to stop here you can definitely stop here if you wanted to you could just kind of add cream or white shadow to the 
to the lid, put some liner. You really could rock this. But because we're doing this purple rain theme, I'm gonna have to add some more purple. And I'm gonna take this shade right here, this beautiful bright purple that just screams purple rain and prints. I'm gonna go ahead and take that color and I am gonna place this all over the lid. I know what you're thinking, just wait till we're finished. I don't know what I'm thinking either. I'm kind of going along with this with you, but I'm going to go ahead and take that shade and I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my lid. Not bringing that completely all the way in. You'll see. And I have really packed on that purple shade. I want that purple shade to really pop. Now that you've got your purple completely packed on your lid, you're just going to go back in with a clean blending brush and you're just going to go ahead and blend that in, kind of bring that to the crease. Definitely do not bring that too high. And just using a very, very light hand. So once you've kind of packed your packed your purple all over your lid, you kind of blend it out. If you want to do some touch-ups and go back, Please, hunty, feel free. I'm just going back with that initial purple shade and just kind of going over that crease. I just want to make sure, since we're using so much purple, I just want to make sure everything is nice and blended and it just flows well. Because I know we're using some very bright shades. Uh, that's pretty much it as far as the eyeshadow. What I'm now going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my under eye area, then I'm going to go ahead and jump on to the face. And I'm going to start off with this NYX Dark Circle Corrector. Um, just kind of helps conceal under eye, under eye darkness. As you can see, I kind of have some underneath here. And it's just that orangey, that orangey concealer color. I've actually really been liking this. Um, it's not too dry, not too oily. It feels really good on the skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that with a concealer brush underneath my eye. Now that I've got that exactly where I wanted, I'm just going to go ahead and take a damp beauty blender and blend that out. Mm, I just cleaned it and it smells really good. It smells like dawn. Now that I've blended that out, I'm just going to go ahead and take the Born This Way foundation. Um, if you guys saw my video two videos ago, my everyday makeup routine, then you've definitely already seen that. This is my current favorite I'm just gonna go ahead and dot that all over my face and I'm just going to also blend that out with that same beauty blender just on the other side I feel like your look doesn't ever really come together until you have your foundation and everything else on like whenever I first see my eyeshadow initially, I'm like, oh, good gosh. But then, you know, when you put everything else on, you're like, okay, I am feeling myself. Can I get an amen? Now for concealer, I'm just using my typical drugstore favorite, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Now that I've got my foundation, concealer, all that blended out, I'm just going to take my airspun powder and I'm just going to do a little bit of baking underneath the eye. Nothing too crazy. And powder, as you can see, is flying everywhere. And I'm just putting a little bit on my forehead. It's like snowing powder. <sighs> Now that you look like you need to go take care of yourself, um, I'm just going to go ahead and move on to my brows while this all sets. I'm just using still the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brown with the Anastasia Eyebrow Brush. I'm not doing anything defined. I'm just keeping everything very natural. Or so I think it looks natural. But what makeup really does look natural? Now that I went ahead and feathered through my brows, I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of contouring, which I'm taking the Maybelline Master Contour. I just recently picked it up over the weekend, and I am really loving this, especially for it being drugstore. Um, it's $9.99, I believe, and you get a contour shade, a blush shade, and a highlight shade. 
So I thought that was pretty awesome, especially again with it being drugstore. So I'm just going to go ahead and carve out my cheekbones because we all know I do not have cheekbones with this round face. And I just like to use a light hand. And then I'll of course go back and blend everything together. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and dust off this baking that we did. And then I'm going to apply my brush right after. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the blush to the apples of my cheeks. And then just to make sure that we're all blended because we don't look blended at all, I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and I'm just diffusing that. Taking that highlight and I am putting that on my cheeks. And if you thought this highlighter was going to be good enough, you are wrongly mistaken. I am now going to go back in, I'm going to go on top of, I'm sorry, with this Tarte highlighter because although it's really great that the drugstore they offer the highlight, it's just not enough. There we go. Yes, Mama is liking. So now that I'm pretty much done with my face, I'm just going to go ahead and line my lashes with a liquid liner. I'm not going to do it on camera because if I want to mess up my eyeshadow, then I would do it on camera, but I don't want to mess up my eyeshadow. So because of that, I'm going to do it off camera, and then when I come back, we are going to finish doing the under eye area. We're going to put on our lashes, and then we are going to be good to go. All right, so now I went ahead and lined my lash. I did the tiniest babyest wing you could possibly ever do if it's even considered a baby wing. I don't really like doing wing liner. I feel like it makes me look really chola girl when I do. So I just avoid wing liner altogether. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes now. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm now going into my Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. I was really trying to stay all in the Morphe palette, but I just wanted to go to this palette because I absolutely love this shade for my brow bone. It's called Rock Candy. I literally love this palette just for this brow shade. I'm not even kidding. It's so pretty. I love it. My camera had just died, but it had just died on a part on a part that wasn't that important. It was just me going over my lower lash line or the end of it, and I just put on some mascara. So now for lips, I'm just doing something really simple. I'm just finishing it off with some NYX lip gloss, this nude lip gloss. And I'm really trying to hurry and finish this outro because right now my my battery light is like flashing at me. So I really want to make sure I finish this video. But I just wanted to keep the lips nice and simple since the eyes are so bold and out there. So yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I really hope you enjoyed this Purple Rain inspired makeup tutorial. If you try it out, please be sure to tag me while you're jamming out to your Purple Rain soundtrack. I would absolutely love to see your, what's the word I'm looking for? I would absolutely love to see you guys recreate the look. I just had a brain fart. But yeah, please be sure to tag me. I'll be sure to leave my Instagram down below if you do want to go ahead and tag me. But if you like this video, if you like me, please be sure to give this video.